Have you ever stuffed your face with so much ice cream that it gave you a brain freeze? Well today, we're turning just everyday foods into the ultimate brain freeze with liquid nitrogen. And I asked you guys on Instagram, what are some crazy foods you love to see me freeze and then smash with a hammer? So right now, let's do it. We're kicking it off with some peeps, y'all. Let's just forget I ever did that. And how this works, there are three steps to it. Step one, you're gonna place a normal peep down and then smash it. Step two, you're gonna take another peep, deep freeze it, and then step three, place it down and then smash the deep freeze peep. Let's peep this out. <laughs> That's like some random food channels line. No one's gonna get that reference, but Devin will. Let's, let's go. It's time to choose the sacrificial peep. I choose this one, right? Here we go. Step one, smash the normal peep. Turn into like a peep pancake. Let's see what happens when we deep freeze it. All right, so I'm using this dipper right here to get the liquid nitrogen and we're gonna dump it on the peep to deep freeze it. So this is gonna take some accuracy. See if I can get it. It's like sizzling off the, it's cracking. All right, here we go, round two. This stuff is hitting the table. This stuff is crazy. This stuff is super dangerous, by the way. So if you ever do this, make sure you do it with parental supervision. <laughs> this looks crazy. I wanna like touch it. It's so, you can hear it cracking. It is solid right now. This is crazy. I'm gonna do one more round. I feel so bad, man. This peep, rest in peace, bro. No, rest in peep. <laughs> But before we smash the frozen one, I've got a challenge. I wanna see if you can subscribe to this channel and turn on the channel post notifications in five seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, done. If you can do that, comment down below, Keeper Squad, right now, we're smashing it. Three, two, one. That was crazy, that was so cool. I am lit, that was so sick. All right, next one, here we go. Shout out to everyone who suggested one of my favorite foods, sushi. So, we're gonna be freezing this stuff, we're also gonna be smashing it regular, and then of course, we're gonna be eating this stuff. <laughs> Let's go. This one hits home. Ooh! Out of all the ones I did not expect to blow up all over me, it was my friend sushi! So this piece here looks like the most colorful one, so we're gonna do this one. This feels like you're at an expensive restaurant, and like, you know when you see them doing crazy things with the food, like using blow torches and stuff? Like, this feels like something you would see in an expensive restaurant. They're like, oh, you want your sushi a little bit colder, and then it's like <laughs> Oh, it's making me sneeze. <coughs> so here's what's gonna happen. I'm actually, I'm gonna tilt this back. Oh my gosh, it's like, Half frozen. The bottom is rock solid frozen, but the top, the top is not cooperating. Come on, Sushi. You were supposed to be my best friend. Ah, oh, spicy. The sushi is proving to be a lot more difficult than I initially anticipated. So right now, we're actually gonna take the whole thing and submerge it in the liquid nitrogen. No more of this foo foo little drizzling. You know things are getting extreme when the camo glasses come out. Whoa, the whole world is very yellow at the moment. All right, we're gonna dump this whole thing. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Not heavy at all. Okay. All right, here we go. This is super dangerous. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. I would use chopsticks, but you know what? Now is not a time for tradition. It's not coming off. It's frozen. We're going with this piece. It's in there, guys. We're making a delicacy right now. The sushi is in there in the liquid nitrogen. It's a frozen block. It's literally a frozen block. All right, guys. Time to smash it. Three, two, one. Oh! That one. I like scratched my eye on the way out. Whoever knew the safety glass would be the most dangerous part of that whole operation right there. But um, let's do the next one. I've been instructed I'm not allowed to touch the donuts because they're afraid I'm gonna eat it. I don't know why. Nope, that's bad. All right, right now, time to smash a donut. Let's do it. This one might be kind of graphic. You may want to look away. Okay, I thought this one was gonna blow up and go crazy, but it just literally doesn't flatten. Let's see what happens to the frozen one. All right, we've got the tongs right now. The donut is going into the liquid nitrogen. Oh my gosh, it's floating. This thing is like floating on it, man. I gotta submerge it, submerge. Go submarine mode. <laughs> it's a submarine donut. Here we go, three, two, one. The hammer's like smoking. Oh, I 
love this stuff, man. That sounded like glass breaking. Like for a second, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm about to get hit with like a shard of glass donut. Makes no sense. I'm hyped. This is crazy. Let's go to the next one. Next up, we are freezing and smashing Oreos. Hey, we need them for the video. Here we go. I literally just thought a piece of this flew off into the liquid nitrogen container. Luckily it's closed, we're all good. Otherwise, it could have erupted, I don't know. So let's now freeze it and see what happens. We're using the dipper technique again for this Oreo. Like this stuff just sizzles, which is the craziest thing about it. Let's smack this Oreo. Three, two, one. Oh! What? Look at this! It didn't even break! What? I'm smashing this again, fam. What is going on? Attempt number two, let's do this. <laughs> Not a pickle in a bag. But it'll do. You have to eat a pickle in a bag. Pickle like in saying. a bag? Where did you even find that? <laughs> That's what I was doing. All right, here we go. Oh no, it's already getting juicy. Oh, I hate the smell of pickles. <laughs> I smell like pickles, y'all. I don't even want to do this. This feels like a messy challenge all over again. It's like pickle just, just nastiness. Oh, it's like jelly. Oh, it's in my eyeball. Oh, that burns, that burns a lot. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh no. I can't believe it didn't do anything. I guess we'll have to freeze it. No, I can't, I can't do that. We gotta go for it. Mm. You got pickle all over me. All right, let's freeze it. It looks like just like bird poop. Just and now this is what you call a juicy pickle. Here we go. Oh, I need my. Oh. <laughs> Almost put that in without my glove. That would have been very bad. Okay, the juiciest of all pickles. Yo, this is so wild. There's almost like a, I don't know how to describe it. There's like a layer of mist over the top of it that you can't see it, but the moment the pickle gets close to it, look at this, it like envelops the pickle. You see that? Look at it, it's like a layer over the top of it. I'm sure there's like some scientific reason for it, but that's wild. All right, here we go, we're gonna plop the pickle in. I can't see the pickle, man. You know what? There's just not enough liquid nitrogen in there. You gotta fill it up a little more. Yeah. Pickle's been in there for quite a little while. We've got the hammer right now, and let's pull it out. It's actually cracked. Look at this. Can you see, like, it's ah, it's got like a crack right along it right there. This is gonna be explosive. Here we go. Three, two, one. That one sounded like glass shattering. This one is the most popular item you guys suggested. It's a piece, a piece a pizza. Sorry, no more uh, cheesy jokes. Get it, because it's a cheese piece. I'm not looking forward to this one. This is gonna go everywhere. Three, two, one. That was it. Hey guys. It looks like a topographical map of Utah. <laughs> jokes, dad jokes. For those of you who are pizza lovers, this might be hard to watch. So that's just like just a part of it. And you can already tell the difference. Like it's, it's rock solid, but we're gonna go with the whole piece of pizza in there. Oh man, it's sizzling. The moment it touches it, the whole consistency of it just completely changes. This no longer feels like a piece of pizza. It feels like a slab of rock. Listen to that sound, crazy. All right, time to smash it. Here we go. Okay, before I go for this last one, it is just shattered. Come here, look at this. Like the cheese actually shattered on it. Like I can kind of pick it up a little bit. It looks crazy. Like the whole thing is just kind of broken apart. I'm gonna give it one final smash right now. Just a big one. Here we go, three. Two, don't want to break the plate. One. <laughs> yeah, that was cool.
Have you ever seen those commercials where they try to make eating a burger look like the hottest thing on the entire planet? Well, right now, we're not gonna do that. This is gonna be the exact opposite of that. Like, after this, no one is gonna wanna eat this burger, so. This here has got icicles like all the way around it now. And this stuff, you can kind of like scoop it off. It looks like snow almost. So right now, the camel glasses are going back on. We're about to fill it up again. And this burger is going down. Here we go, the moment of truth. About to pop the burger into the liquid nitrogen. Oh man, it's going everywhere. Okay, so the burger's in. I gotta keep it together, so I gotta push it down quickly. What's happening? I can't see it. My glasses are like impeding my vision. And I'm like, everything's so yellow. I can't tell where the burger's at anymore. It's having a crazy reaction. This one's by far the craziest. Hopefully the burger will freeze. This one's the most difficult though because there's so many layers to what's going on. Like the burger just has a ton of different layers. And so I don't know if it's gonna be able to freeze through every single layer. So I'm gonna keep this one in here longer than I normally would. Well, the cheese is definitely no longer melted. That's for sure. In case you guys ever wanted to know, this is the secret recipe for the Krabby Patty. Y'all didn't even know, liquid nitrogen was the key all along. <laughs> it's literally cracking. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's like a magic trick, man. It's just gone. Well, the chunk of it over here. <laughs> it's like so cold, it's so hot right now. That makes no sense, but if you touch this, you can feel it even through these gloves. Like, it's like a burn on your finger. Really, guys? Eggs? You know I don't like messy videos. No, 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 no! No! <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. I'm doing this for you. Here we go. Three. Oh, no. Two. One. It didn't touch me at all. All right, cool. Next one. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm very grateful that I still have a face at the moment because that slipped and you saw that stuff shoot out everywhere. <laughs> and if that were to touch my skin, that would burn my skin and my skin would instantly die. All's well that ends well. The coolest thing is that when it fell in there, it actually cracked. And look at it, it's like the opposite of scrambled eggs. So guys, we're gonna put a full one in. Mm. So guys, we're gonna put a full one in there now just so we know what like the whole egg will actually look like. All right, so the full egg actually cracked while it was inside. So I don't know what kind of effect that will have. We're gonna do this one first, and then next we're gonna do this mutant egg. The craziest thing about this one is that it cracked, but the shell stayed intact, but only the egg whites actually came out of the egg, but the shell is still fully intact. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh my gosh! Literally powderize it. We're going for egg number two right now. Here we go, guys, the mutant egg. Three. <laughs> Two, one. Oh! It's literally just powder, so I don't think I've ever seen eggs prepared in this particular fashion before. You guys suggested Twinkies. I suggest I do it like Salt Bay. So let's see what happens. You guys, I'm not excited about this one. This is gonna be juicy. Here we go. This experiment has been so full of surprises. Like the ones you would expect to just explode everywhere have done nothing, and then the ones that just came out of nowhere, like a sushi. Why would the sushi go everywhere, but the Twinkie with filling inside of it would not? It's actually stuck to the just tail. It's just. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Everyone, say goodbye to the Twinkie. Here we go, making the the plunge. Whoa! Hold up. Okay, my tongs. That stuck to it. All right, I'm gonna have to use a different Twinkie. This thing is just whoo, messed up. I'm just gonna have to like kind of like plop it in very safely. Want to go far away from it? Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Ooh. The Twinkie is just like floating along the surface. All right, so it's kind of sinking in a little bit. I'm gonna try to like rotate it. 
flip it upside down would be like ideal. Oh, okay, there we go, yep. The first time we did this, nothing happened. This time, after it's been frozen, here we go, about to smash it and then eat it. But first, I need your help. If you wanna be featured in my next video, comment down below what my brother and I should do in sumo suits. Yes, we're gonna be rocking sumo suits. Also, the keeper of the week is Devin. If you wanna be the keeper of the week, all you have to do, just check out the description and down below, that way you can be featured in my next video. But right now, here we go, about to smash it, and then we're gonna be eating it. Here we go, three. Two, one. <laughs> that was crazy! All right, here we go. Oh, there's a chunk right here. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, oh brain freeze. Yeah, brain freeze, brain freeze. Oh, man. 